Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of April 2020 and welcome back to my Cyber Angels. Thank you for your support and sharing and liking the videos and I love it. Without you it wouldn't be the channel it is. And welcome to the new viewers. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell. Now this, uh, I've got a, what I'm going to say next is for the Cyber Angels and for the new viewers. If you would like to become a new uh, a cyber angel, then come into the live. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. The little bit of news that I'm going to tell you is that make sure that you are still subscribed to your favorite channels because we're in the new system now. So when you subscribe and you hit the bell, then you've got three choices. So hit the word all, A-L-L, -L, as the new system. Uh, has three options. If you put it on private, you will not get notified. So hit all. Okay, and um, I, I had to do your reading for the fourth time because technically my computer um, went down and something went wrong and I couldn't hear anything. So I will start again. I did not chop or change the, the cards. Anyway, when on, once I've done a reading, I forget it and I move on to the next, so I can empty my head. I usually meditate between readings as well. First of all, Gemini, we have the bear, and the bear is 15, and that's a 6. I'm not using the, the cartomacy of the cards, I'm only using the number and the lenamon. So you are in balance on the 6th. And it is this Monday the 6th, and you've got the card, you start off with a 6. So you've got a double number. It's very significant. The angels are here. The bear means that you can stand your ground and you will protect everything that's dear to you and that you're passionate about or that you love, like your children, your family, your home, your job, yourself. You are the bear, but there could be somebody that is jealous of you, okay? So be aware of that. And the bear also means luck. Then you've got the Four of uh, Swords, and the Four of Swords advises you to take time out and think about things. Um, perhaps take a break, take a holiday if you can. But it, basically it is also a spiritual card. Meditate, contemplate and evaluate situations or issues at hand. You've got the cage here with a bird in it. Perhaps you might feel tied up. Perhaps it's time to think. What are you tied up with? Are you too much in your head? Do you feel tied up in a situation at work or at home? Perhaps you feel tied and locked up in the situation with the lockdown. Okay, you've got the tulip, so there is a great passion. Perhaps you can't practice your passion. You can't go out and meet people, do the talking, because I know you love to meet people and go out to parties or uh, Perhaps you might be a healthcare or a teacher or uh, your, your business. You can't do your business. You might be passionate about your business. You have the key to the cage because it reminds me of the one Lenormand deck where there is a bird cage with a rose in it and it has a key. That means you hold the key to open that cage. So come out of your mind, Gemini, and take action. Be creative. You are a creative zodiac sign. And you can find other options to practice your job or practice your passion. And because you're so creative, somebody might be jealous about your, your creativity. On Wednesday, you've got 16 and this becomes a 7. So again, luck on your side. You've got the star. The star means your wish or your goal can come true. Perhaps you can't, you, you are stuck and you can't meet your lover or your special friend that you have a passion with or that you're passionate about because you've got the Ace of Cups. Perhaps you want to move on to the next level. That's why you are being stuck. Be thankful for this time that you're stuck, that you can't meet your uh, beautiful passionate friend or that you're passionate about. If you are having a passionate love affair, perhaps you want, it's now time to decide 
would you like to carry on with this person it could be an air sign um, it could be also an other sign uh, I've I've said I wouldn't use these but it is a swords and it is a cup so it could be a water sign okay a cancer a Scorpio or a Pisces and the air signs are Gemini Libra or an aquarium um, I think it has got to do with passion but it could also be a new beginning um, about a passion okay it could be a new love or you already an existing love and I think it's time to think do you want to go on to the next level there could be a new beginning with if you are hooked up um, there could be a new beginning in your relationship this passionate relationship could be be more if that is your wish because the wish card is there you've got the owl on the man or on this line of cards on Wednesday and you've got the owl so use your wisdom the owl looks around 360 degrees okay he can turn his head right round he sees everything from a different perspective so that's why that is a beautiful card try to get a different perspective when you take time out so that you can have a new start because an ace is a new beginning with this man perhaps this man see uh, you you see this man in an other uh, in an other light not just as passion but as a, a a permanent partner dealings or a relationship with a man perhaps you're getting a different perspective because the owl is lying on the man okay uh, use your wisdom uh, learn from the past think about it okay the the owl is also perched and takes time out patiently to think things through and to see what's happening around him and then pounds on it <laughs> on the mice I can just in imagine an owl sitting in the tree and he's got a bird's eye view a helicopter view and he's waiting there thinking what I can what can I do how can I do it how am and then all of a sudden he sees the mouse he sees his his goal his bull eye and he thinks quick and he flies off and he swoops off and he goes for the mouse his prey his dinner well in ther this is hypothetical speaking of course you don't pounce on somebody but you have a different perspective how can I approach this to make this long-lasting well Gemini you've got the walk so do the talk you can sell ice cubes to ex Eskimos so when that when if you are on lockdown and you can't be together then just remember this um, absence makes the heart grow fonder so get a different perspective whilst you are not with him okay or her because I'm obviously reading uh, also for uh, a, a masculine Gemini so there could be a woman that is man orientated the masculinity career okay so uh, don't take the cards as a uh, sexual uh, whether that it's a man okay the tea leaf cards are uh, a little bit uh, to me they are a little bit more direct it is a uh, dealings with a man but I still keep an open mind if you if you are a, uh, a man you could meet a lady that is career orientated the masculinity comes to the forefront on Friday you have the stalk and you've got number 17 look at this 15 16 17 18 so 6 7 luck and now you've got 8 you've got the house of money and power there's something happening something new perhaps a new job in the care because this is a new beginning as well the ace okay that could be in the health service uh, something that you're uh, uh, you're calling vocation that you're passionate and that you love so there is a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation and an issue like I said a passion might become a fully fledged relationship okay great stuff you're in your power and uh, you're in your strength because you're in the house of power and money 
So money could be coming towards you. So you might have this new job and now you can buy that house and move house because the stalk also means moving home. And the stalk means also finding out you're pregnant or hearing of a, a birth. This could be of a child or this could be of a project. Now if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions. You've got the wheel of fortune, what goes round comes round. So this is my karma card and what goes up must come down. Okay, this card also means uh, if you've done good you'll get it back threefold and if you've done bad you'll get it back threefold. If somebody's done you wrong, the same thing they'll get it back threefold and same with good so if this jealous person is being nasty to uh, to you or about you they'll get it back threefold you might be moving home well that's confirming the stalk a new job also uh, confirming the stalk uh, you might be going on holiday a retreat okay advising you to take a retreat or time out a holiday perhaps a short break of four days Right. Now the Wheel of Fortune also means that uh, you could go up a next level in business or love. Like I said, passion could become a permanent relationship. Um, if you have a job and you don't like this job, you've left it, or you might get a promotion. That could be the reason why somebody is jealous around you. Okay? Because the wheel, the, the spokes are just a next step, either in a relationship or in a business uh, site, work or business. You've got money coming in because you've got the coin on the kite. And the kite means vacation. Take a vacation. So try, perhaps you need to take a vacation before you start this new job or this new business or this new relationship or take a vacation with the person you are starting this permanent fully fledged relationship perhaps a honeymoon then you on at the weekend you've got 18 which becomes a 9 the end of a phase you're going into a new phase you're no longer the, the passion uh, the, the person's passion but you're more they love you okay and you love them there's a new phase a new beginning this is the dog the dog means friendship a loyal friendship trustworthy friendship okay and luck on your side perhaps your perspective has changed with the owl perhaps by taking time out perhaps your perspective has changed with regard to a friend or you might be meeting a new person again at, at the weekend you it is advised to take time out as you've got the hermit the hermit has the scythe in this deck and that means that you have to cut away what is of no use to you like a jealous person okay cut away the negativity and only take with you on your life's journey because that's what the uh, hermit stands for um, take your wisdom and your life experience with you and pass it on to third parties like children other people if you're a teacher you're passing on wisdom and life experience as well not only what happens in the books the hermit also represents a Virgo perhaps you go out with a Virgo and they might become your love of your life Woohoo! that is gorgeous okay and you've got the star so your wish you've got two stars this card and this charm so your wish and goals are coming true the arrow you are on the right path like the hermit regarding some aspect of your life and you are an air sign so it's it's quite magical that you have an arrow depicting fly go with the wind boom and the overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the three of cups you are going to celebrate woohoo nice one 
remember we, if we are we are on lockdown so uh, if you are not with your partner the heart grows fonder and um, uh, what, what was the saying the absence makes the heart grow fonder now you have got the mice at the bottom of the deck and the mice means you might have lost something yes you might have you've lost each other for a time being okay you love being together mice work together but the basic meaning of the mice means that somebody might have stolen something or taken something away from you or that you've lost something but if you look further into the card you can see that she's pondering the fairy and thinking where have I left it what can I do and this is what I'm getting from the beginning of the week and the end of the week taking time out if you are stressed out mice do work in groups then ask for help ask for help many hands make light work they work together so take that try if you are moving home then ask for help you've got two cards here of going on holiday or moving home then you need somebody's advice or help uh, when you go away perhaps to look after the plants or the dog or the cat or whatever your house so think about it and ask for advice um, and I think uh, it, it doesn't really doesn't really mean only in my eyes although it's the basic meaning because I do see a lot more in the cards and also my my intuition goes to work uh, it also don't let anything nor at you ask for advice from others from a friend from a friend you've got the friendship card here so ask for help so that you maintain in balance because you are in balance at the beginning of the week and you've got the seven the eight you're in your power your strength so I don't think this applies to you that you are out of balance you might feel um, out of sorts but believe you me come out of your head make that decision uh, or that choice and it will be all right look at what's underneath the mice the ring that's crazy and sunshine I tell you I did not orchestrate this reading it's just as big news for me as it is for you now you've got associate with the inspire inspired and the inspiring so I don't know but this saying comes up in me um, great thing uh, great minds think alike um, takes one to know one that is like the inspired the other people are inspired by you and they are inspiring you so sort looks for sort so that is what comes up to me in me when I see this card choose to associate with people who live their life who live their lives that's enjoying the world and life for the most part in spirit but first you need to identify those who are inspired and are inspiring individuals who've risen above their egos and the vanities of the world associate with the inspired I think that's so beautiful now Gemini the last card that you have is surrender to the magic of who you are yes Gemini you are inspiring and you are inspired you inspire others and the ones that don't feel inspired by you and are jealous of you that is what they are jealous of they are jealous of you being inspired and being inspiring like I said you've got the walk so you can do the talk and you've got the gift of the gab tell believe you me and you you're the best ones out of all the air signs to have the gift of the gab we all have magic in us even in the mundane aspects of life remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that worth that come from just being you you are magic 
it's a pink card and it doesn't look pink in this daylight but it also means love and I think you are going to inspire peace and love okay Gemini I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care be blessed and please share this video with family and friends and if you're new I hope I've inspired you to subscribe and hit that bell on the all I love to meet you in the live sessions and if not then I would love to meet you and see you in the next video Ciao, ciao.